Hello everyone and welcome to my health channel. Today I want to talk about antibiotics. I want to discuss here what everybody must know. Antibiotics are a very huge topic but I just want to talk about what I feel may be relevant to us all in part one of this video. However, in my next video which is part two of antibiotics, I would like to talk about the warnings of the use of antibiotics and antibiotics resistance. Now, antibiotics are basically are medicines where they fight infections caused by bacteria in humans and animals. So they're supposed to kill the bacteria and make it um, difficult for the bacteria to control and multiply. Antibiotics, they slow down the growth of bacteria. Before I proceed, I'd like to recap on what bacteria mean. So, there be germs where they live inside our body. There be germs where they live in the environment where you and I they live. They're very small organisms. Most of these germs know they're harmful. Some, they even help people. But for some, it they cause infections in others, like strep, um, strep throat infection. Okay, so, what did happen? We say this bacteria, they enter our body. The white blood cells will destroy them. If you get a good immune system, the bacteria will die. If you get a poor immune system, it will grow to cause a disease. So when you begin to develop symptoms, which is the incubation period or the infection period, the person will go to the doctor. The doctor will find out things like your health history, specific infection, previous experience with antibiotics, drug history, allergy history, ask you many other questions like when this, when did this start, is it getting worse, how often this thing they happen, how often this symptom they happen. They will get to collect that information and then the doctor will decide if not a viral infection or a bacterial infection okay and then he could decide as well which antibiotics to give you this is why you know they're correct to do self-medication with antibiotics if you live in a country where you can buy anything over the counter an ordinary person no go know the difference between virus and bacteria now a doctor would be able to advise on appropriate treatments and the use of antibiotics okay at least you, you get the right antibiotics the right dosage and the, the length of time you have to be on that medication for it to be effective okay so antibiotics they suppose um, to treat only certain infections where bacteria they cause like strep throat whooping cough urinary tract infections tuberculosis wound typhoid skin dental infections Antibi antibiotics know they work on virus like runny nose, colds, sore throats, flu, and some chest colds. Virus germs, they're different from bacteria. Antibiotics they know they're meant to treat infections where virus they cause. Okay, we are supposed to take antibiotics to treat infections. Okay, we know, say, antibiotics, they save lives. So we must be aware that whenever anyone, they use antibiotics, they be side effects where they expected, okay, and fit contribute to the antibiotic resistance. So when someone needs antibiotics, benefits they outweigh the risk of antibiotic resistance. My next video, which is part two of this anti antibiotic topic, will cover all the topics that I haven't put in here, okay. But it is very important to watch the next video because it will be a follow up of this video. Otherwise. The whole information will be all over the place. Okay, so um, you know, like I said, bacterial infection, a doctor could choose antibiotics for the treatment. Okay, doctor will ask you questions. Infections be part of our daily lives. Okay, so if we get bacterial infection, make them treat them and treat them well. Okay, um, make we no prescribe antibiotics for ourselves. It's not right. Okay, because we don't know about the dose and the frequency. Okay, and um, some bacteria, some bacteria are today contagious, so we must make sure, say, we get it treated. Okay, and not assume, say, we could take anything I took care of. That's why people they, they they go buy antibiotics, they go use them, the problem still there, they you know they get better because they've taken the wrong antibiotics. Okay, antibiotics no just one, different things they do different things. So you need to know whether in a virus you get or a bacteria you get, and then the doctor will decide which one they better okay this is what our people they miss and it's it's upsetting me so much that you know we don't know about side effects we are not getting the treatment we are overusing misusing the drug 
okay and then when we go into hospital the people they spend a longer time there because because of antibiotic resistance which is what i'm going to be talking about in my next video okay people you can there's no way you can know the difference between a viral viral and a bacterial infection okay rely on doctors there that's why they went to school to go learn and be able to help people okay don't assume and think that any bacteria any antibiotics you pick from the shop will work for you sometimes you still get ill for two three weeks and longer and you don't get any better especially people on where they get typhoid they will take it and they use it and they're not getting any better because they're on the wrong antibiotics okay so please please my people it's very very important that you know when they listen you know be careful make we make sure say when we take antibiotic it will work it's a very good drug but we abuse them in developing countries that's the problem okay watch out for my for my part two of the next video please share video to your friends subscribe like and follow my page thank you very much and catch you all soon thank